Hello everyone, today we are going to work on this uh, sound effects for the skateboarding system. So, as you can see, when we land and when also when we leave surface, we get some uh, skateboard uh, crash sounds. So, these are the things that I am going to work on, and also you can see. Uh, you can hear some sounds uh, that represent the wheel sound and you can see as the speed increase and decrease the sound effect also changes okay so this is what we have at the moment we don't have any sounds we can actually skate freely but no sound effects so let's add some sound effects all right so i have already imported this sound effect uh, oh i have it uh, let me get this here I have this skateboard sound so I'm going to use this sound uh, actually I'm planning to add some more variations because I have concrete surfaces and I have wooden surfaces so based on the type of surface I'm going to change the sound but at, for now I'm going to go with only one sound so let's create a sound cue using this skate sound cue and here I'll add a continuous modulation continuous modulation modulator node so that I can modify the module modify properties such as pitch this is pitch modulation I'll name it pitch max 1 min 0 let's also I'll make this loop can I set it to loop here yeah, yeah so I'm gonna change the pitch based on the speed of the uh, skateboard max is 1 so max has to be higher so max output right this is the this is how it works if I set the max output to 4 uh, then uh, min out min input and max uh, input range also should match so that means if i set the max input to 4 when the default value is 1 we will have the normal uh, pitch that we have in this sound so if i make this 2 you will see it is increasing all right so let's use this sound first let me stop this then open my skateboard keyboard in character okay here i'll add that sound can i drag and drop skate sound okay and this will be activated by default so let's see so we already have the sound which is not good 
we should only get the sound and it should be changed the pitch should be changed according to the speed so to set up that right uh, so uh, we don't really have a variable that represents the speed of the character so here let's implement it let me add a dot and get some space by doing this update song all right now here mm -hmm. get this skateboard sound set float parameter the parameter name is pitch and the float this should be based on the speed of the character so we can get the character movement velocity get velocity get vector length oh wait we can't use this because we actually follow in this sim sphere yeah which I set the character movement here oh here we already have this page right so that means we can get rid of this part we don't need to do that here and we can do it inside here where we set the character movement mm -hmm. yeah. let's do it here Set load parameter so what kind of a uh, speed we usually get I'm not sure let's print this so that we can determine what type of uh, division we should do to the speed before we put it as the value of the pitch for now I'll set it zero oh sorry I should connect it to the printed value printed text not the duration okay 100 200 400 value is ranging from 100 to 1000 divide it by thousand okay 
also I don't think I added uh, attenuation setting here if I don't add that it sounds uh, it wouldn't have any effect of the location of the sound being played uh, so even if I play it far away I would have the same volume Let's keep the default values, yeah. That should be alright. Mm. And here, well, more than a skateboard, this sounds like a jet engine. But uh, this is the only sound effect I have at the moment. Uh, we can do one more thing. So we can leave this part like this we can change the volume like set the volume to zero if we are not on ground so how to detect if we are not on ground i think we are doing a lot of line traces here yeah it to determine if we are on ground where do we use it wheel trace in the line is gate here into this uh, wheel trace function this one I'll add an additional input Additional output on ground. So I'll make it false here. It should only become true if the distance trace start to the end. If this distance is uh, less than no, actually, distance wouldn't matter here. If we have it, let's consider it as on ground. Now, here, let's do a and operation using all these nodes, all these results of on ground. Uh, not the end. Let's have a OR gate. We need four outputs. So if all four of this becomes true, if any of this becomes true, let's consider we are on ground. We have an additional input. Let's remove it. So here, in the end, oh, this is not used. This is also not used. So let me rearrange this part a bit. Right, now here, hmm. Let's uh, get the skateboard sound again. Set volume multiplier. Ah, uh, no, I think I have to set it all. Set that also here. Yeah, volume modulation. Let's set a new parameter volume. So I'll keep the default range. set parameter set float parameter what's 
the name I used? Volume. I select the volume based on this value. Select if this is true, volume should be one, otherwise I'll set point two. Right now let's see. Okay, now you see when we jump, we do we lose the sound. Okay, that's better. So if we need to have even more variation, what we can do is, uh, instead of having a Boolean value as the output, let's change this to a float value. On ground. If this is true, I'll make this on ground one. Right, now I have an error here. That's okay. Now I'll change. Let's add them together. And let's directly use that as the volume. So if this uh, Let's divide this by, let's say, four, and use that value as the float input. So even if I hit one of the wheels, I should have some sound. I also imported this couple of clips so which can be used when I land on the ground so uh, let's create a sound cue set down set down cue and here I'll add all those three all those four sound effects and play them randomly Random. so yeah they will play randomly and also I'll set the art animation as well can we do a bulk edit C 
select this one and assign okay mm -hmm. right and uh, now here let's play those landing sounds randomly uh, like this let's add a sequence here and play sound at location and I'm gonna play this set down sound location get back to location and I'm gonna play this uh, I'm gonna add a do once node here I'm gonna play this only if let's have a branch only if this value is uh, larger than one larger than zero or let's say point two oh sorry not larger than less than because Oh no, it should be larger than because uh, when we are in air this value becomes zero and when we land this value becomes something larger than zero so I'm gonna reset it only if this condition is false that means when we are in air All right working as intended and let me remove that print where do I print that is annoying and also I'll remove this debug mode as well such cases I think in the wheel trace instead of just considering this as one if we have some heat let's check the distance if the distance is let's say smaller than we are on ground so this would become 1 if this value is less than 35 distance let's see yeah now we get some sound there I said also we can do one more thing we can where do I set the sounds yeah we can check if this value is larger than 0.5 
we play some song when we leave the surface as well. Like right before jump. No, just a landing. Maybe it would sound cool. Uh, but how can we implement it? Uh, right, maybe we can do something like this. Instead of let's have another do once node here. Oh, wait, why am I not getting it? Play the same sound and reset it like this. Butterfly pattern. Now we will get a sound when we leave ground as well. stop this episode right here and as always project files will be available for the download in patreon page link would be in the description below and if you would like to support my work you can get the membership of the patreon club see you in another episode goodbye